Hello. Oh, it's Tuesday. And we're just uh, so my next door neighbour's practicing the French horn. I apologise. You might be listening to the backdrop of uh, a bit of French horn playing. Oh dear God. Okay. Lockdown. You gotta love lockdown. People take up most extraordinary hobbies when your next door neighbour learn, learn, learn to play the French horn. <laughs> Hey ladies, this is playing the French horn. This is what happens in lockdown. You know, we say, when I said, remember that live a few, few weeks ago, I said, take up a hobby, everybody. Take up something you enjoy. I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, God. Gotta love it. Cobbs, Nazarene's already here. I'm gonna sing a song for you people people while they're waiting. I said I would never do it again. I lied. This was gifted to me. I'm oh, sorry, you can't hear it. I can hear it. Pooja, I can hear it. Good <laughs> stop. Um, all my clients, Abney, gifted me this one. Hey Joe. Girls love cobs. Girls love cobs. Love it as a jingle. I jingle this uh, live as girls love carbs. We do they, don't we? Everyone loves carbs. Everyone's in there for carbs today. I hope you're all eating carbs while watching us. I didn't. I should. I should have said that as a proviso. Please don't watch this unless you're eating a carb. Hand around the carbs, please. Uh, who's got pizza? Who's got the crisps? Who's got popcorn? Carbs, people. We only watch this one with carbs. It's the only appropriate food source for any live about carbs. It's wheat carbs! Which is, we're hoping that, that Coach Heather's going to attend so she can give us some tips and tricks on how to eat more carbs. She's probably not, to be fair, she's probably trying to work out her shopping list and her calories. <laughs> we watched the live yesterday. Oh, she'd be dying. She'd be dying without her carbs. Right, how am I going to do this one? I think we going to have time. I feel like if, you put the, if I put it up to it, could you hear it, Pooja? That's the thing. I feel like I'd sit here and listen to it. You guys would be like, what is she listening to? I'm like, I'm listening to the sound of that. She normally don't practice this time of the day. <laughs> Ain't good. Hello. All right. Who likes carbs? I like carbs. Anyone need like a carb? Anyone like a carb? I think Joe, Joe, Joe Swinney has been camping out on this particular Facebook live since the last 24 hours ago when we did a live. She's like, please talk about carbs more. We just sit and talk about carbs. No particular reason. I'm going to give you tips and hints. Just let's talk carbs because it's really fun. It's fun to talk about carbs, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to talk about why carbs get a bad rap, though. Because I think they do. It's, uh... And let's be honest, carbs are always the one thing. Like if I'm talking to a client, carbs are always one thing like, yeah, I've stopped uh, eating carbs. I don't laugh. I don't have that reaction, by the way. Because I'm like, hmm, okay, tell me how that worked for you. Well, I went really crazy. <laughs> how many of you done that? I've done it. How many people always uh, drop carbs out first? Uh, because we do. Because we think somehow that carbs is the issue. Um... Again, like I sort of spoke about yesterday, when, when, a, when a client says, <coughs> How many calories do I need to eat to lose weight, Helen? I will often get the best question of, Actually, oh, you need less carbs, right? <laughs> well, no, I don't laugh. I laugh. I just, I'm laughing at my own interpretation of a client's behaviour. It's not isn't really what happens. Um, However, oh, well, the calorie one happens and then the carb one happens uh, at some point. Oh, it's happened before. Uh, I've done it. I'm laughing, rightly so, because I've done it myself. Remember, always client before coach. Done it. Uh, had less carbs. And then we go for the uh, no carb diet before like five o'clock, where you used to have like, well, this is my diet. I'm, I'm creating my diet here prior to joining you for uh, coffee and a cigarette at uh, around half seven, eight. Um, some kind of salad situation at one. Probably like some dry ass chicken and a bit of lettuce. Mmm, yummy. Uh, and then a crap load of carbs in the evening. 
like carbs all over. <laughs> like I literally shower on myself in carbs from about 6 p.m. onwards to about 10. With a four hour window of carb. <laughs> I did it all the time. I did it every day. I love that lifestyle. It clearly got me to the joyous, joyous point of uh, having to join you, fit and everyone else. Uh, so, uh, yeah, carb, carbs get a bad rap, and why? Um, because the carbs we really want most of the time are the carbs that probably don't do us all that, that well at the end of the day. Uh, like it or not, um, all carbs are dissolved into some variety of sugar within our body. Um, or glucose, you want to get technical with technical words. Um, or glycogen or whatever, but eventually it's, it's stored as energy and it's just a formula how we, we choose, our body chooses to, to, to use that is entirely different based on what we select. Um, therefore carbs get a, a, a bad rap because it's uh, always considered the carbs are, are bad for you, um, but actually they're not. <gasps> Everyone's like this, <laughs> I hope Hafsa's not watching because she's already reaching for the Pringles off screen like this going, yes I knew it, <laughs> bring on the carbs. I know, uh, not entirely true. Um, an interesting fact, which I always find interesting about um, about carbs and why carbs are often taken out. I've, I've covered carbs and water because that, that's always, if you haven't seen that, you, you can look at that separately as a life. Um, about what happens when people take out carbs, because it changes their, their body water composition. So uh, appears to give the illusion of losing, losing weight quickly and it's just losing uh, body water. It's, Sorry, oh. <laughs> sorry, it's just playing next door. She she hit high note and I got surprised. Um, <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, uh, carbs and diets. Uh, oh god, I'm so distracted by hitting that high note. <laughs> I wish you could hear it. I'm actually slightly disappointed you can't hear a practicing next door. Um. Oh yeah, why people take out carbs? People take out carbs for, for, for lots of reasons. However, um, what is interesting is that um, if you take carbs, uh, it's not the biggest impact, although we go for it all the time. Um, for one gram of carbs and one gram of protein, there's four calories, okay, equivalent of. For one gram of fat, mm, there is nine calories. Ooh, pure stuff. I mean, pure protein, pure, pure carb your fat uh, yeah isn't it fascinating right i find this i find this from human behavior really fascinating um there's carbs you go oh take out the carbs take out the carbs that's where it is that's where it's all at and uh, people are hanging back nuts and seeds and avocado and funneling it well you know one of those dentist chairs and those funneling get it in this healthy fat people <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I, I agree it's the calorie content of it right and yet when you get a choice if there's a choice of a meal Oh, I took out the carbs, it's like an entire avocado, all a plate, <laughs> stabbed with nuts. <laughs> I had what looks like a hedgehog, a green hedgehog. Oh, I had I had a healthy meal. I didn't have any carbs. Uh, and yeah, it, isn't that fascinating that that is, is generally what happens with a lot of clients, uh, that that is the way they go. And you actually uh, have to put down the Pringles. Have to like this. Oh, <laughs> you saying I can't eat avocado with my Pringles? Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's just fascinating, though, isn't it? it from, from a, a nutritional point of view, that's that's the reality. Um, I keep looking at my little man here like he's an avocado head. The, the avocado color is is where we go for. Yes, he says. Uh, when actually, uh, it's it's always down to portioning. It's, it's the same with carbs as well. The principle last for carbs, like whether or not we choose take something out or not is by the by um actually it's, it's just how we we actually portion out the meal more than anything else um when we talk carbs let's be honest i think when most people have this laughing she's still got this i still got the pringles in my hands and that's the point i think that is that when it comes to carbs and why it gets a bad rap is that when we think about carbs we don't think uh rice or potatoes or um pasta pasta's all right nothing from pasta Especially on Slimming World, they'll ask you to eat that down as much as you like. Eat your body weight in pasta. Lose weight. Uh, by the by. Uh, that isn't what we think of when we think carbs, because actually, if you think about, if I if I then use my own, <laughs> I'm still, I go, as a coach, I go, oh, Helen, why? 
Um, let's recap on my diet prior to uh, working with a coach at, at UFIT. Uh, so it's coffee and a cigarette for breakfast and then uh, some nasty art salad for homemade <laughs> dry ass chicken salad. Um, and then my carbs in the evening, let's be fair, they're not going to come from the earth, are they? Um, what did I used to have? Oh geez, what did I not have? Oh, Doritos. Going out of fashion, Doritos. Jess with the Pringles house, so I would have been there with you. Um, what else used to have? Oh, biscuits. All, all, all sorts. <laughs> Licorice all sorts, probably, yes. <laughs> also, sweets, uh, sugar, just just anything, really. Um, carbways coming out of anywhere. And I think I used to kind of justify it because I hadn't had breakfast and, and no carbs at lunch. Um, so when we think of carbs, we're often thinking about we're thinking about the stuff we really want to eat, not the stuff we can eat from carbohydrates and be okay with. I had a fascinating conversation with, um, we were on the topic actually, while I'm thinking about it. I had a fascinating conversation with a, a client who, um, a new new client who uh, messaged me because she didn't have any um, sweet potato. So she's like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I've got, some, I've got some white potato, what do I do? carb choice i'm like on topic i've covered it before i think ages ago uh, um those things are okay like the, the difference between carbohydrates between a, a, a sweet potato and a white potato all the difference is vitamin c there's nothing different in terms of small amounts in calories not you know nominal not enough to, for you to make a choice between the two uh no one carb is uh better than another in those choices they're just not all carbs are created equal so if I'm um, if I'm going to choose a carb that I, I let's be honest we all know the difference between eating a donut and some potatoes principally we do know I I I I don't think I've ever met a client yet that goes to me that that on the scale of choices knows that that something from the earth that is carbohydrate based is um not a different choice to something that's in a packet at all ever um goes a bit back to what I about the other days our bodies aren't really built for to eat things that are from the packets principally going back in the day cave person huh cave person not man person yeah correct uh thing is that we we it's nutritionally different and different for us to digest yes um if i want something to keep me um fuller for longer with a high fiber content i'm going to choose something um that is from the earth, right? I'm going to choose something with fibre that helps me feel better, that slows down the processing of the carbohydrate, uh, that releases energy slower, um, that gives me energy for longer uh, than if I smash through some Krispy Kremes. Oh, that's what I used to have, Krispy Kremes. Not have one of those for flipping ages. I never had the Reese's Krispy Kreme. I wish you could start playing the sad song now, but I next door. So, excuse me, can you can I do you take a request? Can you play me a sad song for not having a Krispy Kreme with Reese's on? <laughs> Didn't ever go there. Um, however, principally, if I was going to get through a, a carb that's going to make me feel low in energy and uh, possibly pr push me into a sugar crash, I'm going to choose something that isn't from the earth. I'm going to choose a highly processed carbohydrate that uh, might give me a, 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 a quick of energy. Um, and then we'll dip me off the other side. Uh, and, and that's why uh, it gets a bad rap because we know that carbs, when we choose them, we're choosing them somewhere else. Now, here's what I see from a human behavior, like, and I've seen it in clients because I just wait for it in myself. Quite often, um, I, if I'm doing a, a food diary with a client, I'm doing it in picture form, I'll quite often see almost, not almost, I won't, they won't show me cigarette and coffee because <laughs> we, know, we know that doesn't happen. But uh, Principally, what I will see from a client though is uh, a carb in the morning at breakfast. There's some description, uh, and then often a missing carb at lunch. Now, um, whether or not they don't have, I don't know, toast or they don't have uh, a pasta or rice somewhere else, um, and then I and then I don't see one in the evening meal. All right, what's that emoji? You know, that emoji that has like that. I kind of have a monocle, but then you go, hmm, emoji. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking in my head about this. Hmm. Why is the carb going to come in? Um, and it's often in the stuff that I'm not going to see in those main meals, right? Because what we do as people is we apply the principle that we, this is why I know people know this. They won't have 
the carb with their meal, they'll save it for later, they'll save it for something else. Okay, and actually, in some senses, I don't mind that, actually. Oh, is the studio here? Oh, hello. Oh, here for the I've just seen the comments. Nasmi has Pringles. Oh, man. Pass a whole meal on the boil. Oh, yay. Hey, oh, gold Kate, I'd have missed you for the hand stretch. And Heather's here, and Dax is here. And she said carbs. <laughs> I already looked at your calories, Heather. You don't have space for carbs. You've got 600 calories left. It's the stir fry again for night. You, my friend. <laughs> I'm stalking your life right now. Hey, Daksha. Uh, yes, get, get, the, get the carbs in, please. Um, Avni, are you, are, Avni, are you still here? I sung your song. <laughs> oh, she's not here. I sang Girls Love Carbs. <laughs> <laughs> got completely lost so the good news is there's fiber in carbs okay fiber in carbs is good for you uh bad news is there's no fiber in sweets okay so when we talk when i'm talking about feeling fuller for longer um and helping our digestion we're gonna go for those carbs if we want the good things uh unfortunately there's people we love the bad stuff right we like the <laughs> the licorice all sorts as i accidentally said earlier is fundamentally also true. Yeah, that see, I, Heather is selling me her her uh, her good uh, carbs. Yes, two slices of sourdough for breakfast and two slices of sourdough for lunch. Heather at one hundred and fifty eight calories. Anyone feel like I know what's going on in Heather's life right now when it comes to carbs? Yes, I do. <laughs> well done, Heather. Well done. I've I've been I've been looking at your carbs today. <laughs> Oh, look at all your oh, so I feel like we're creepy stalking everyone's life. I've been watching all you eat carbs through the through the windows and doors saying, oh, carbs. <laughs> Some of you have been inviting me to see it by actually taking photos, you crazy people. Well done. Um but there is a bad news, there is no fibre in sweets. So what's gonna happen? Uh like I commented on earlier, our body's gonna burn through it uh, and not do very much with it at all that's going to do us any good. Um now I've talked about, I can keep talking Pringles because they are the epitome of all cravings. Salty, goodness, the, the, the thing about carbs like that, that are high in processed sugar, um, is that once you pop, you cannot stop. Not even a lie, is it? I mean, for a branding, they literally, it's like Ronsil. Ronsil got the right idea as well. It's literally what it is. <laughs> it says what it is on the tin. You ain't stopping to get to the bottom of that tin, love. Keep going. Thank God they bought out the small ones. Not that they're as, like, do you know what I mean? Same principle, right? Um, and that's the thing about high, highly processed, low in fiber carbohydrates that we're so surrounded by in, in actual modern life. And um, they're all built and designed for us to want more. Um, they are generally higher in calories than uh, some things that we can find naturally from the earth. Uh, or it's grown um, and therefore they have like a high there is a terminology for it for life it escapes me right now I just have to remember it um, as a low satiety value in it essentially so you just don't, don't feel full has anybody ever noticed that that, you, that stuff you do does not feel full on no there's no fiber in it there's no satiety value in it you just want more because it's there so you can have more you can get more in you cannot fit one more piece of popcorn in. Not me. <laughs> There's always space for another Pringle. Has anyone noticed that? Nobody goes, oh, no, 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 I'm stuffed. I simply cannot fit in that last Pringle if someone puts it in front of you. There's always space. If someone said, here's a new potato, can you fit that? I'll be like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is not going in anywhere. You can mash that down and try to stuff it down like a hamster. No, 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 no. No, I couldn't possibly fit that new potato in but get me a pringle that's going in i will find a way for that to get in <laughs> isn't that true though that's what happens though when we go for oh oh hello oh mm, now that was a good question as we straight in there i love this question i love this question because it's an on-point question um and actually uh, i looked at i looked at the back of these now to be not that long ago uh what, what pff, not too long ago because we can't we can't really meander much in a in a in a supermarket anymore. I got laser beamed in the back of my head, so I had to move, which is very <laughs> annoying. Because I was actually looking at these, I mean, in slight disbelief, a like <gasps> moment. Um, because actually they're no better off, Nazarene, than actually just buying crisps. 
uh, if you look at the, the actual carb content and fat content and calorie content of the veg crisps, um, I don't know how to put this. If you slap off a potato and, and fry it and call it a crisp, it's no different to a carrot. Uh, the best thing I think I've ever seen, best thing, I've never tried it. Part of me was deeply like wanted to. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was like, hmm. Maybe I don't know if Heather's actually tried these before. Uh, it was it was fried courgette, uh, and I was like, my brain kind of had to compute it for a bit. It's like, oh, that's the thing that can happen. That can be done to a courgette. I didn't even think. Oh, it can be deep fried. I was like, I saw it on the menu. I was like, do I? It's like seeing a, a deep fried cream egg. Somewhere up north and going, not that I've also ever tried that. I've always been very interested about how you fry a deep fried Mars bar. Is anybody trying a deep fried Mars bar? No, I don't. I just thought of it next morning. <laughs> the sort of part of me is also like deeply, weirdly wants to be intrigued by it. Like, how does that taste? What What's happening there? Um, it's Kate, if you had one, I'm so like. But it is, you're intrigued by something. And the point I'm getting across with, with the, the uh, cause now it's how many carbs are in a bag of mixed veg crisps. Um, off the back of my hand, I can't tell you now, what I can tell you is they're no better than just having crisps. Because actually, if you have a look at the calorie content of them, cause I was like this, oh, I'm here now. whoa. <laughs> cause I was doing that, I was going, do I go lentil crisps? Uh, or do I go these ones? I, hope, I was still getting laser beamed because obviously taking too much time. I was taking more than 10 seconds to select an item in a supermarket. And these days it's like, uh, well, the whole thing's like crystal maze, isn't it? <laughs> There's somebody running around in leggings going, hurry up people, you don't have time. <laughs> Move in a lovely fashion. The fan with the tickets just at the end. <sighs> oh dear. Oh, that, oh God, what's happened now? Uh, Sally says, yes, I've tried to do fr fried Mars bar. When you say try, did you get through it? You say yuck, so did you finish it? I feel like you, t you kept trying. I will keep trying, even though disgusted. Like maybe in a minute I'll keep liking this. <laughs> I'm getting a real high of sugar and carbs right now. Um, Heather's asking from a shop in a bag. And we talk about the, the the vegetables, Heather, because I'm not sure if you get them individually in the shop. Like, where do you go shopping? Like a deli, probably. I imagine you. Um, Kate says I didn't get to where I was was without trying. Oh, and did you, was it the 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 cream egg or the? Because that must that would be like the biggest carb blitz you could have had. Oh, kale crisps. Oh, no, I don't think you meant kale crisps, Heather. You're so lovely, kale crisps. Heather, do some kale crisps tomorrow, just with one fry light that <laughs> would help that because it would make that very low in carbs. Uh, however, yeah, it's um. Yeah, it, I would agree with you, Nazreen. Really. It's better to, to, again, have more uh, understanding of what you're making at home and how you're doing it. Uh, because that's where... Uh, yes, I've tried lentil... So Dutch just tried lentil, Chris, and quinoa, and they're okay. Equally, though, yeah, uh, from memory, Dutch, so you may be able to correct me again, so I've not had a look for a while. I'm getting the same issue, isn't it? I'm just getting stared down. Um, is that, actually, from a calorie point of view, again, lentil crisps aren't, like, amazingly different. Um, so... It, your carbs are, are deceptive. It's always about an awareness piece, though, I think. Um, they're a great source, don't get me wrong, carbs are a great source of fuel, if they're a great source. Uh, they help you feel full of energy, they help you feel full. Right? It talks about how you're not full with processed stuff. You're not because fibre is low, satiety is, is low. It doesn't, it, they just don't, we could smash through stuff for ages, right? Um, you can't, uh, Okay, before I move on and say this, um, they are a great source if you if you select great source. Now, how anybody chooses to do that individually um, is on is on basically support from the coach and what fits into um, <clears throat> their palette or their lifestyle, etc. Yes, to some degree, uh, I think everybody can agree that that that, that having uh, Pringles with every meal is not going to be a sustainable. Uh, amount of carbs or a carbohydrate source for energy and, and skin health and all the rest of it um, or mood probably because you'd eventually go go a bit wappy uh, but also isn't it you can't maintain a life without carbs 
any anybody successfully watching this and I'm saying this with a really wrinkly forehead and eyebrows up high anybody successfully maintained a lifestyle with no carbs genuinely and I will be like whoa you've you've lived a life uh because it's just not maintainable I think of any experience of myself included to live a life without carbs I'm full of a life without joy <laughs> that's a statement isn't it you're on a t-shirt a life without carbs is a life without joy because actually um who doesn't like also like mashed potato I mean it's amazing I love mashed potato I mean don't get me wrong I do like it to have some substantial lumps I think you have to have carbs in the form of which you're given to as a child which is lumpy mash also I mean like carbs are not I know we're taught it, and I think, we're, we're, uh, again, it comes down to some of the things I was posing yesterday. I think sometimes, sometimes we're, uh, it's suggested to us that carbs are the thing to go to to remove, because quite often we select carbs that we know, let's be honest, we know are not the only choice we can make. We just like them because they're highly Moorish. Uh, I mean, someone with that goes for as addictive. Um, we like the Krispy Kremes. We like the Pringles, we like the Reese's Cups, we like the things that give us that hit. The reality is that, um, yes, if we balance some carbohydrates into uh, our actual meals rather than keep saving them for the sweet stuff, we'll probably be less going uh, black or white ham on the stuff that, that, that we kind of, not binge on is also a strong word, but you know, it happens uh, for a lot of us, especially if we choose to not have carbs around a certain point in the month if you're female. Uh, then that is what's going to happen. That is a dangerous combination. If ever I've seen one with a client, there's a client who's trying a low carb diet or or um, not having any carbs around the time of the due to have a period. <laughs> Jesus. Because when that, that dam breaks, it's like a tsunami. It's like a tsunami of everything they've been, <laughs> been trying to hold back like that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, wait, come in. And that's what happens. Um, and I think to some degree that's what happens with a lot of people if you try to, to see carb as, or carbohydrates as, as something to eradicate or remove um, at some point sooner or later uh, you will succumb to the wave of carb unlike Heather tonight who oh, cannot do that Heather's internet is failing me guess I'll have to go and get me some sourdough don't tell Heather oh I know I have no idea Heather that you've gone to get some sourdough not at all <laughs> Uh, yeah. Also, if anyone's doing the 10 a.m. Uh, met tomorrow, please stay tuned for another instalment of What Will Helen Come Dressed As? <laughs> <laughs> do not encourage her, Daxia. Do not, do not encourage Heather to go eat her sourdough. <laughs> Although it is actually her meal. She's allowed to go and eat a meal uh, occasionally, by the way. Um, but yes, if you are attending uh, tomorrow morning's met. <laughs> At this point, I've I've got to to the stage where lockdown has allowed me to 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 dress as I feel is appropriate for a Met class or inappropriately. Um, oh God! Okay, hang on a minute. Have so you go? Are you pretending to be Heather's neighbour to go and select some sourdough? You're gonna post it for a box at you. Have some of this. Have some carbs. <laughs> ah, there's got an image of half on your side like this. Clash the carbs. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> Literally, I hate to see it, Hafsa. I could be a I could be a career move. If you ever even heard one, what do you do for a living? Uh, I post out sourdough into people's mouths from the inside in within lockdown. Why not? Hey, there's a job for everybody. Uh, right, let's recap. Oh, hear that crack? You hear that crack? I'm not talking to neighbours anymore. Uh, so, cards. It was, I, do have a, I should have just come on just eating carbs all the way through. It's going, carbs are okay. Um, carbs get a bad rap because there's a whole thing with it as well about uh, diabetes and, and blood sugar and carbs are bad. Um, no, no. It's just what we're selecting or choosing to select. Uh, I made the interesting, please, clients and potential clients, do remember one one gram of, of carb equals four calories. One gram of fat equals nine calories. And yet we will snack on seeds and nuts like they are falling from the sky into our open mouths. Um, as opposed to if a client says, I had a slice of toast and, and then a surprise when I go, that's okay. 
the nice one. I'm like, well, you're not going ham on nuts, right? And they're like, bye. <laughs> Grab a claw. Um, because that's where it gets interesting. We will select to take out carbs from, from our actual diet, even though they give us a great source of energy, uh, etc. over looking at how much fat content we're actually intaking in, in, in all fats, right? Uh, wherever they are on the scale. Um, like I said, the, the avocado uh, hedgehog with the seeds in it uh, is a real thing. Um, people are like, it's like, I'm gonna make an avocado hedgehog. Helen told me. Um, the point is that we will choose to have those things because we see them to be healthier over um, some carbohydrates when actually the calorie content of those is far exceeds um, actually selecting a carbohydrate with a meal. Um, uh, all carbs are eventually to some degree or some description turned into sugar in our bodies. How we use that um, and how long it takes to go for our system is dependent on the carbohydrate that we select. Uh, so yes, I think most of us, like I said, know that not, like nutritionally, a Krispy Kreme is not the same as some boiled new potatoes. Fundamentally, we know that. Uh, it's not always the choice we make, though, hence why they get a bad rap. Um, however, um, the great news is you can select uh, carbohydrates that have fibre in, that help you feel fuller for longer, have energy for longer, um, make your digestive system all hunky-dory and stuff. Um, the bad news is... is there's no fibre in the sweets. And so this is where the choice comes in a little bit. Yes, um, we all love carbs. The names, I don't even like, like carbs. I said, who likes carbs? I love carbs. Loving the carbs. I mean, and part of what we do uh, nutritionally with clients is help support them to find carbohydrates yeah, that they can add in when they've been taking them out like I used to uh, with the, the chicken salad situation. Um, and support them into understanding how they are actually okay for you and they are good um it's good for your good energy uh we can maintain uh, a lifestyle with carbohydrates far easier than we can maintain a life without uh is the bottom line and that's why we love them because ultimately uh living without carbs is living without joy <laughs> it's a strong statement i stand by it stand by that statement a life without carbs is a life without joy. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Put it on a t-shirt, put it on a poster, make it a strap line. I don't mind. Either way, it's a true fact. Um, and with that fact, I think everybody's going to eat carbs now. It's like, that, good carbs. Heather, Heather's gone. Heather's gone to have a dinner because she, she always talk of food and Heather's gone. <laughs> you do what she's doing. Right. Enjoy your carbs, people. They're good. Enjoy the carbs that make you feel good with fibre added, right? The uh, selection that gives you the nice things in life, right? And I will catch you tomorrow. Uh, and also tomorrow at 10, if you're around, for another instalment of what is Helen wearing. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, guys. See you later.